Hey guys, what's up? My name is Karen and today's video is going to be another unboxing from the lovely Scribbler. Really starting to think I should change my channel name to Karen Unboxes, but we're just gonna go with it for today. Scribbler is of course a bookish subscription box specifically targeted towards writers. I have here the June box and the theme for this month was actually research which is such a helpful topic for writers. This is also the first box with their brand new design and I am totally loving it. It says for writers from writers there and it actually has um, Victoria and Lindsay's signature on this side and of course the front says write with a whole bunch of writing on it and it has the Scribbler logo right there. Totally loving this design. I did actually receive this one late again just from being Canadian and all. So even though I look like a total trash panda today as I just came from work, I just waited so long to find out what's in here and I just can't wait any longer and I'm going to open it right now. I'm waiting for the time I accidentally cut myself on camera trying to get one of these things open. First look inside the new box. Here we go. All right, I'm just gonna set this off to the side just so it's easier to get out everything. And the first thing I see up top is Scribbler's monthly writing exercise card. So this is what the design on it is for this month. This is the one thing with getting my box late that I managed to spoil for myself. I managed to remain totally oblivious to everything else. So not so bad that the first item is the thing I got spoiled about. Anyways, this month's challenge is the elevator pitch. So it says, being able to pitch your book in one to two sentences and capturing the intrigue and hook quickly is crucial. Give it a shot below. So that's what the card looks like up close. Scribbler includes one of these cards every single month and I always find they're so helpful with getting your brain generating new ideas and helping you stay on top of your writing game. So I love that they've started including these and I'm excited to go ahead and try out my elevator pitch sometime after this video. I might even post it for you guys so you can see uh, what I come up with, so make sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram for that. Okay, I am super pumped about the next item, guys. I have been waiting for a subscription box to include one of these things for so long, and it is actually a tote bag. It says, dream, write, edit, repeat on the front of it. I love this so much. I think that really speaks to everybody who writes and like the whole process we have to go through. Okay. It is also Velcro and it has a little pocket on the inside. This is like one of the coolest tote bags I think I own. I love this so much. This is really cute. The next item is actually a magnetic bookmark and it actually says stop wishing and start doing. Oh, let's see if I can get it to focus and not shine super bright. There we go. So for anybody that reads magnetic bookmarks are actually super amazing and I feel like these are actually super amazing if you're somebody that likes to take a lot of notes for your writing and you want to maybe bookmark your place in there. So this will definitely get a lot of use out of it. This is really cool. Next item is actually a, what's this called? Like door sign? Doorknob sign? Oh, what are these called? Wow, um, I work with words for a hobby, yet apparently I can't remember what everything is called, so. So anyways, on the front it says, do not disturb writer at work, and it has a picture of a typewriter, which is super cute. But if you actually look at the back, it has an exclusive gift for scribblers. Subscribers of Scribbler are actually gonna get a free digital copy of the book Paper Hearts by Beth Revis, which is a book all about publishing advice. It also includes a little ad for Beth's upcoming novel. I think that's super cute and that is so helpful and so nice, so thank you very much for that, Scribbler. All right, so this is a new thing actually that they're including in this box. So it says, Scribbler recommends season one, episode one, and the featured person is actually Heather Howland, who is the senior editor for Entangled Publishing. Let you get a sneak peek of that. And they've actually included a list of why they love her and on the back it has writing tips from Heather. That's really cute. I love that they are getting so many more people within the publishing world involved in little cute things in their boxes. So that's definitely very helpful and it's always great to hear from people that actually work there on what they're expecting from writers and how they can help writers. And here is this month's writer magic inside this cute little envelope here. So if you're following Scribbler, these are usually invites to Google Hangouts with people that 
that work within the publishing industry. The card actually looks so cute this month too. So the chat for July is actually with the Candlewick Press executive editor, Hilary Van Dusen. So that is a close up right there. On the back, it actually includes a bit of a bio about Hillary. Usually Scribbler subscribers will get the link to the Hangout sent out closer to the time. I'm actually very excited about this because I think it's always so useful when you get the opportunity to chat with and listen to editors because they're obviously the experts on how to best craft your pitches, your stories and all that so that they will appeal to the people you are trying to work with in the future. So really looking forward to that. All right, and this is this month's spoiler card. So I'm not gonna look at the back, but it has the July theme listed on the other side, which is setting. So setting I find is the one thing I actually really struggle with as a writer. So that's gonna be a great box. And this is this month's writing passport on research. So if you don't know, Scribbler includes a writing passport every single month that has expert advice on that month's theme. So Victoria and Lindsay will chip in a little bit and then uh, whoever the author is of that month's book will also talk about that month's theme as well and offer up a whole bunch of advice on that. So I'm actually not going to look at the inside because I would like to kind of avoid spoiling what the book is if I can. This is actually really cool too. So this month it's not a scroll. <laughs> this month it's actually just a stack of papers. Um, Beth Revis, who I mentioned earlier, Earlier in this video actually wrote up a timeline of what the publishing process looked like for her so everything from the conception of her idea to all the rewrites and then finally getting it published is described in here this is actually super cool because I feel like so many people don't really understand what actually happens when you write a book and then pitch it and the whole process of getting that ready for publication so I think this is really insightful I actually went to school for publishing so a lot of this stuff is kind of familiar to me but I'm very curious to see what someone actually experienced when they went forth with that process. This is cute too actually. They included a bookmark for half price books. I've heard of it a bunch of times. I've heard of many booktubers also using them to get their books as well. On the back they also have a code for 15% off so that's actually really cool and especially considering that the books are fairly cheap to begin with. That's actually a really sweet deal. So I might have to look into that. I have absolutely no idea what this is, but it looks interesting, so I'm going to open it. Okay, that, I see what they did there. So this is actually a Bic grip roller pen, and the ink is actually red. So I am assuming that is actually to help you with your edits, give you a nice fancy pen for that. So that's actually really sweet. Anybody that's a writer should also know you can never get enough pens, so. And we are finally down to the book and the book plate. So here is the plate. It is from Candlewick Press and it has the signature of the author Abby, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And the book for this month is The Button War. On the back I'm immediately seeing reminiscent of Slaughterhouse Five and Lord of the Flies, which are two books that I love. So I am so excited to see what this book is about. I honestly don't know if I can do it justice trying to describe it myself, so I'm actually just going to read the inside flap. Patrick and Jurek are as much friends as rivals in the small Russian occupation Polish village where they live. When, in August 1914, Patrick finds an old button on the forest floor, Jerk becomes wildly jealous. Not long after, World War I comes to Poland, bringing one invading army after another to the village. Jerk devises an exciting dare among the seven boys in their pack. Whoever steals the best military button will be Button King. The boys agree. The contest is on. The competition escalates from stealing uniform buttons on a wash line to looting the bodies of dead soldiers setting up an ambush. Leading the charge is Jurek, who will do anything to be Button King. It's only Patrick who tries to stop Jurek's increasingly dangerous game before it leads to deadly consequences. Master of historical fiction, Avi delivers a fierce account of boys in a war-torn village who are determined to prove themselves with a simple dare that blurs the line between a button war and a real war. So you can definitely see where all the research into the history of that time and location plays into this. I am actually very intrigued by this story and I'm looking forward to getting to sit down and read it at one point and see just how well Abby's research actually paid off. All right, so that is it for my Scribbler June unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite part of this unboxing was. And if you'd like to see more bookish or writing related videos from me, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and that you hit the little notification bell so so that you'll be notified every time I release a new video. Again, thank you for watching. As always, spread love and don't be a troll.